Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, kick that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, it's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, stopping them from rewriting history, and in this video, I want to talk about something that I, that I, I heard that my man AOH was talking about. In one of his videos, and we were going to talk about it. I think we're going to talk about it tomorrow uh, on the Wednesday uh, Hump Day Rants, the live stream tomorrow. We'll, we'll probably talk about this. But this idea that because we don't root for LeBron James or we don't, you know, like LeBron James, right? We don't, we don't support LeBron James, that we're not supporting America. We're not supporting the USA team because of the things that we critique about LeBron James and how we, we talk about LeBron James. They try to make it seem as if, you know, we're not patriotic or we're, we're rooting against USA. And I've told people all the time, I'm not rooting against USA. It's never been about that. But I say to these people, I don't have to root for LeBron James to root for the USA. I do not. Because once again, I do not respect LeBron James. And I do not think he should be representing the USA. I would have not have put him on the USA team. And once again, I definitely would have let him carry the flag. So I want to talk about this video. I don't have to support LeBron James to support Team USA. And once again, Team USA is embarrassing themselves out there. And LeBron James continues to embarrass himself. We're going to talk about this video. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states, man, that's been supporting my channel, man. Shout out to everybody out there, all the countries out there that's been in the Olympics, all the countries that support my channel. Shout out to all you guys, man. The, the, the true basketball fans that are standing up. You guys know the deal. Thank you guys, for real. I'm truly humble. Everybody in the membership, you guys humble me, man. Thank you very much. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, I wanted to touch briefly on something I heard my man AOH talk about. And I saw a video. Uh, yes, I didn't watch the video. I, I just saw it come up on my feet. I didn't even get a chance to look at it yet. I, I want to check it out today. Uh, for my man on Common Sense. And essentially, he was talking about some of the things that I was thinking about talking about in this video. When he talks about the antics and the celebrations, like the, the, the over-celebrations from the USA team, the way these guys celebrate everything. Everything is, they're jumping up and down the bench. It's like a bunch of goofballs. I saw Joel Embiid at the end of the game against Puerto Rico a couple of days ago. The dude was like a, just a straight goof at the end of the game. Like, the USA is up by like 20 points, and here goes Joel Embiid showboating at the end, end of the game. Once again, looking classless, being a straight goof, and then chucks up like an air ball. Like, I, I don't understand these guys. But Uncommon Sense uh, did a video, and, and he was talking about some of the antics of some of these guys. And when you think about LeBron James, and I tell you, I don't have to support LeBron James to support the USA's men's basketball team. I don't have to. And I do not support LeBron James. I will never support LeBron James. I cannot look at myself in the mirror, stand on the principles and the values that I stand on, and be a LeBron James supporter, guys. It just doesn't make any sense. I would be a hypocrite if I did. It wouldn't make any sense. It really wouldn't. It's like these guys go out there and trash Michael Jordan, his era, while they're wearing Michael Jordan sneakers. You are a hypocrite. You are a fool. You stand on nothing. You can't trash Michael Jordan, talk about his era and his competition and his, all this stuff, but you're wearing his sneakers. You guys are the goofiest people out there. That's many, many LeBron James fans. They'll wear Michael Jordan sneakers all day, every day, but then tear down Michael Jordan in your comment section. They don't stand on anything. Once again, you have no integrity, no honor. That's a ridiculous move. So I cannot support LeBron James because of what I stand on. I can't do it. He don't stand on anything. He stands for nothing. And once again, we think about the antics of LeBron James. I mean, look at this goof. He's out there flexing, doing that stupid shoulder shrug. Right? I did that post last night of ESPN. They're, they're out there talking about, yo, that shrug hits, is hard. It, it just hits. What? It never gets old, they said. It never gets old. What, what are you talking about never gets old? That was never in. It was never in. It was never cool. It was never hip. It never. This guy has no swag, LeBron James. He's not creative. He's not original. No originality from LeBron James. Zero swag all from LeBron James. The dude got zero swag. I don't give a damn what anybody say, man. He ain't got it like that. He ain't not like, like a Michael Jordan, man. He ain't got the swag of a Magic Johnson. He ain't got the swag of a Dr. J. Like some of these great players, Kobe Bryant, he ain't got the swag of these dudes, man. He just does not. So when you talk about LeBron James and his goofy antics, the way he goes out there with that stupid shoulder shrug, like he's tough like that, you're not tough, LeBron James. You've never been tough. You've never shown and proved to be tough. You're out there running away from guys. You're out there flopping all over the court. You're out there ducking the grind. 
You don't want to go through it. That's not being hard. That ain't being tough, guy. You're soft. Just like all his punk fans are soft. But he'll do that shoulder shrug. He'll flex on these little guys. This is what LeBron James does out there, man. It's corny as hell, man. Once again, like my man on Common Sense was saying and alluding to, these guys are celebrating every little thing, every shot's a celebration. Once again, everything is over the top. They're, they're not humble at all. And they're not living in reality. So when we think about LeBron James and his idea that I have to support LeBron James to support Team USA, or if I don't support LeBron James, I'm not supporting Team USA, it's an absolute joke. Because like I said, LeBron James doesn't represent anything that I represent. And to me, he does not represent the United States. He does not. This is not who we want to be. We don't want to be like LeBron James as a country. Individually, do you want to be like LeBron James? No. Once again, I would never have my kids watch LeBron James and do what he does. I would never want that. I would never show a bunch of kids things that LeBron James does. Do you want these kids walking off the court early, pouting, moaning on the bench, showing poor body language, always blaming people, never taking any kind of accountability? Do you want to raise children like that? Do you want to show kids that? That's how athletes should be or professionals should be? No. So once again, I do not support LeBron James. I want the USA to win, but I don't support LeBron James. I'm not rooting for LeBron James. I'm rooting for Team USA to win the gold medal because that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to be dominating. My only problem has always been, or my problem has always been the same thing, the comparisons with the 92 Dream Team. I don't believe they're valid, but more so than just that is that when people tried to say that this team would dominate the 92 Dream Team, if you believe this team is better, more skilled, that's on you, man. Fine, you want to believe that? I dare to make a video and explain it and break it down because you wouldn't be able to, but that's fine. You believe that, that's fine. But what I'm not going to listen to is someone like a Paul Pierce and some of these other goofs like Nick Wright talk about how this team would dominate the 92 team. That, to me, is ridiculous. Now you're just way overreaching. They would dominate the 92 Dream Team? There's no evidence to support that. Once again, they can't give you any evidence. Paul Pierce sounded like a goofball trying to explain what he was saying. Nick Wright, we all know he don't know a damn thing about basketball. He didn't watch the 92 Dream Team. He don't know anything. But I love these guys to say that, but they can't give any facts Nothing, they can't break it down and explain to you. Nothing. There's nothing that supports that. It's actually quite the contrary. If you break down the overall games of all these players on both teams, the 92 Dream Team is by far and away more skilled, more had more fundamentals. They were obviously tougher. They were stronger. They had more grit. They had better leaders on that team. They were more coachable on that team. I mean, what are we saying here? They had greater defensive players on that team, greater rebounders, greater playmakers. I mean, I don't understand what anyone could make an argument that said a team would dominate the 92 team. It don't add up. That's, but that's been my main problem is the comparisons and the disrespect. The tearing down, once again, they must tear down the 92 team to lift up, to lift up this team. So once again, that exposes that this team in relation to 92. I don't have to tear these guys down to make the 92 team uh, greater than them. I did a video on this. I don't have to tell these guys. I gave you the facts. The facts. These guys aren't close to those, to those guys. They're just not. And that's just the way it breaks down. So I don't have to support LeBron James. I don't have to root for LeBron James to root for the USA or to be considered a patriot. Once again, I fought for this country. I've done what I needed to do for the people of this country, for myself, for my family, for this country. I paid my dues. I did what I had to do, man. And I did it honorably. And I did it with no shame. Once again, to me, the USA, is it a perfect country? Absolutely not. There is no perfect place to live or to be. But to me, this is the only place that I would rather be, man. It's the only place I'll be. Is the United I would never leave this country. Even though there's a bunch of weirdos in this country and things are bad. But once again, there's things bad everywhere, man. You got to take the good with the bad. <clears throat> it's never going to be perfect in America. But damn it, this is home. This is straight up home. And I've always supported the USA teams. I've always supported the United States. I mean, like I said, I, I fought for this country. You know what I'm saying? And once again, I'm proud of my time in the military. I'm not ashamed of my time in the military. I'm glad. Like I said, I've respected it. <clears throat> and once again, I appreciated it. It helped me become a person or a part of the person who I am today. So when people try to make it seem like you're not being patriotic or you're rooting against the United States because you're not a fan of LeBron James or you're not supporting LeBron James, it doesn't make any sense. I've never once said in any of my videos that I hope that they lose, that they don't win the gold medal, that they get bronze or they get a little. I've never said that once because I don't want that to happen. Because once again, that makes the United States look bad. That makes us look bad. We're supposed to be the standard for basketball, the standard. So I want these guys to live up to that standard. They're not living up to the standard. 
And that's what we're trying to get across these people. So I find it very funny when people try to say, and like I said, my man AOH was talking about this, that you can't be patriotic because you're rooting against LeBron James on the Olympic team or you're not supporting LeBron James on the Olympic team. How can you support LeBron James? He's still out there goofing the ball up, turning. I think the men averages five or six turnovers a game in the Olympics. How is that possible? How, if you're playing with all these great players, you can't make any excuses that the teammates aren't great. You're playing with all these great players. You're playing against inferior talent. I don't give a damn what anybody said. Oh, the world caught up. No, 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 no. Stop it right now. The USA is by far and away the greatest team out there. That's why we were laughing when he was in these close games. You should be blowing teams out. You were a 40-point favorite against South Sudan. Why do you think you're a 40-point favorite? Because you should be dominating these teams, man. I'm so tired of this stuff, man. But LeBron James out here with these goofy tactics, doing all this nonsense out there on the court, being a showboat, and once again, just being corny, having no swag. I don't have to support LeBron James. I have to get behind him to root for the United States. Those are just the facts, ladies and gentlemen. I would never root for LeBron James. It don't matter how many times he played for the Olympics. I would never root for him, him personally. I don't root for him. Because once again, to me, he does not represent me or the United States. He does not. Once again, the values that I stand on, LeBron James don't stand on those things. So I'll never support someone like him. To me, he's a dirtbag. He's a classless individual. And I don't even believe LeBron James loves America that much. So all his fans out there trying to call people uh, not patriotic or you're rooting against the USA. You, you hate your country because you hate LeBron James so much. LeBron James hates the United States. He hates his country more than anybody does. How much nonsense is he talking about about America? The dude, he's a fake politician, man. Shut your mouth. If you don't know what you're talking about, stay out of the politics, man. Do I talk political on, the, on this channel? Hell no. I'm not into politics. I treat people based off of the respect that they earn from me. How they carry themselves. I could give a damn about what color you are, where you come from, what your religion is, what your political background is. I stand on people, decent people. And a lot of politicians, guys, are dirtbags. They're not decent people. They don't stand on honor or integrity or have class. None of this stuff. They're disingenuous. They lie. They cheat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when we're talking about politics, this is why I don't get into that stuff. And LeBron James thinks he's a smarter guy than he is. So he says a lot of these nonsensical statements. And then what does he do? He deletes stuff. He deletes tweets. He tweets stuff and then deletes it. That's not a grown man. That's not someone standing on something. I'll never support that. I don't have to support LeBron James to support the United States in the Olympics. I don't have to do that. And I'm not going to do that. I haven't done that. And I've never rooted against the, the, the United States team. I don't care if LeBron James gets another gold medal. I, I don't give a damn because what does that mean? It means literally nothing. Once again, this stuff is supposed to happen. They're supposed to get the gold medal. They're supposed to. They want a cookie? You want a biscuit for going and winning a gold medal with a stacked team, the United States? We're supposed to do this. It's an upset if we don't win gold. An upset. Don't forget that, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> an upset. We're the heavy favorites. Heavy favorites. And there's a reason for that. We should be the favorites. <clears throat> but here we go with the United States. You got Joel B goofing around out there. Once again, Joel B shouldn't even be representing America. Ain't he from Africa? You should be representing Africa, dude. Why are you playing for the African team? You see what I'm saying? These guys are weird, man. Weird. Joel B's a fake, a fake dude, man. Fake as hell. Over here crying and moaning to play for the United States. And then you go out there and you're embarrassing us. You're goofing it up. You turn the ball over like an idiot. You're loudly gagging on the court. You out there showboating against Puerto Rico? Like, really? Zero class. And then, like my man of common sense was saying, these guys with the over-the-top celebration, everything's a celebration with these guys now. Like I said, LeBron James flexing on people. He's shoving guys to the ground. He's still d d d d d d dipping his shoulder into people, using that off arm. No fouls are called. Still turn the ball over at a high volume in the Olympics. Turn the ball at six times a game? You've had all these great players. LeBron James still can't dribble the ball. Still can't shoot. He's an embarrassment, man. Once again, he's an embarrassment out there, man. The way he speaks, he's a disgusting human being, man. It's all about him. Everything's about him. It ain't about the country. It's all about him. It's all about LeBron James. You think LeBron James is out there for America? He ain't out there for America. He ain't done shit for America. I'm sorry I curse, guys. You know I don't curse on this channel. But he ain't done a damn thing for America, man. Once again, LeBron James hasn't done anything for the NBA. He's taken away. Taken away. 
his fans want to try to act like you're not patriotic or you guys hate, hate LeBron James so much, you're, you're hating on your country. What? LeBron James hates his country. All LeBron James cares about is money and fame. That's all he cares about. He don't care about his fans. He don't care about you clowns. That's why he don't show up to the games. That's why he don't give no effort. He stands on defense. At least Michael Jordan showed up and gave the effort. You know what I'm saying? He gave that effort. Showed up for the fans. He played with that love of the game. He respected at least the people enough that came to watch him play that he was going to go out there and give the effort. LeBron James, not so much, man. He don't care about y'all. He don't care about the game. He don't care about America. Care about America. Trust me, we care more about the USA <clears throat> than LeBron James ever will. And the sad reality is, <clears throat> is that LeBron James living in America has made him a billionaire. LeBron James playing, playing basketball has made him a billionaire in America. In America. But then he'll act as if America owes him something. Or that America's done something against him. Or that America ain't worth a damn. <laughs> and like I told you guys, this country's far from perfect, man. Far from perfect. But my goodness, this is home. Where else you gonna, where else you gonna go? Why do you think everybody wants to come here, man? There's a reason for that. These other countries are jacked up. They're jacked up. And we've taken it for granted here. And LeBron James and his fans are a complete bunch of dirtbags. All they care about is money. That's why they'll tell you, oh, LeBron James is a billionaire. He don't care about you. <laughs> then why is he asking for respect then? He does care about us. He does care about what we feel and what we think of him. Because that's all he cares about. Is himself and how people view him. This is why he wants everybody to, to call him the greatest of all time. If you don't, he feels insulted. He feels offended. Well, please, believe me, LeBron James, you can be offended and insulted all you want because you'll never be the greatest of all time. You'll never be close to that, man. And you're a piece of garbage. And I don't respect you. And most people don't respect you. And you don't respect America. And once again, the USA team has gone out there and they've embarrassed themselves to a degree. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.